Sarah Carnes. Welcome to the Jefferson County Public Library. I'm the programming librarian here and Kara and I are going to tell you about what's going on in August at your public library. I'm going to start out talking about the adult programs. Uh, first I'd like to say that our summer reading program went great. We had a record number of participants and people read hundreds of books and a lot of people won some really great prizes including Kindles and uh, so I hope you keep your eyes open for what we have planned for our winter reading program. Well, we'll uh, get some fun stuff together and we'll get more books read and more prizes to win. Um, now, since we're in August, everybody's going back to school and that means adults too. So we've got a bunch of Ivy Tech and IU Southeast students in the area. And we want to make sure you know that we have great study spaces in the library and we have wireless that you can use. So if you're taking online tests, you can come and do your testing here. We have great research resources so you can come in, check out books. We have all sorts of online resources. So if you're doing research papers, kind of group, and this is a great place to meet if you have group projects. You can come here, use our space, and get your projects done. We also have printing. I know a lot of you have a lot of printing you need to do for school, and this is a great place to get your printing done, and it's a lot cheaper than doing it at home. Um, and speaking of some of our resources, I want to remind you again of Overdrive. It's a free app that you can use to check out library books online. And it works on any digital platform, so it can work on your Android or your um, Apple device. You can put it on your home computer. And so you can download books, audiobooks, magazines, even films. And you can watch those from home. All you need is your library card. You can download those. The great thing about them is they return themselves, so you don't have to worry about overdue fines. And also, I'd like to mention on our overdrive, when you look on there, um, we have a little special section and it's for if you're going through difficult times. And our collection development librarian, Rachel, has built a fantastic resource for people who are struggling with some maybe difficult issues like depression or um, are victims of abuse. This is a way that you can access these resources privately and you can read them in your browser so that um, you, if having the physical resource in your home is not possible, you can still access these resources and get the information you need to help you help you out with your situation. Um, on a more fun note, we have some great crafts coming up because we love doing crafts at the library. We we have a necklace. We're going to be getting old t-shirts from Goodwill and we're going to be recycling them into really cool cloth, cloth necklaces. That's going to be on Saturday, August 6th. So that's coming at the beginning of the month. You'll want to sign up for that. It's going to fill up fast. That's at 2 o'clock. That's going to be here at the Madison branch. Our second craft, we're going to be um, making rings. We're going to get a bunch of fun rocks and make some cool rock rings. We're going to do that out at Hanover. And again, you'll need to register register for that event. For that event, I'm going to take ages 12 and up in there. If the um, preteen is accompanied by an adult, that's totally fine. And just make sure you call the li right library and register for those events. We're going to um, start coffee and coloring back up. We're going to change it around a little bit though. We're going to move it into the auditorium, give people more space to spread out. You are welcome to bring your um, iPod, put in your uh, you know, put on your earphones and listen to music and color. We're going to make it more relaxed. People can spread out. If you want to bring friends and sit at a table together, you can do that. So this is a great way to relax and color and just have a nice quiet time. Our big event that I hope everybody's going to take time to get down here for is our Indiana Poet Laureate. Lori Wagner is going to be coming on August 29th at 6 p.m. She is just fantastic. And her poetry, of course, is inspired by Indiana, the Indiana landscape. And so she's going to come and do a reading and a talk. And I hope you make it down here to the Madison Library to see our Indiana Poet Laureate. It's such an honor for us to have her come, and I think it'll be just a wonderful, delightful evening.
All right, my name is Kara Motzinger and I'm the children's librarian here at the Jefferson County Public Library. And as Sarah said, we had a wonderful summer reading program. The kids all had a great time. Um, the kids that go to the Madison schools can even take their reading logs with them when they go back to school. And a lot of them are gonna get a special reward for completing the summer reading program and doing the summer challenge. So we're really excited that we were able to work with the schools this year. And um, we really want to um, welcome the kids um, um, back into school into the new school year we have lots of resources here at the library for kids of all ages and um, in August we don't do a ton of programming because the kids are going back to school but we do have some really fun programs planned we have a Pokemon hunt that we're going to be doing inside the library so this is even for younger kids to get involved Pokemon Go is a phenomenon that has swept the whole country and actually the world it seems like and everyone's doing it but not everyone has um, an iPhone or um, something that they can load Pokemon Go onto. Um, kids that are really young, they love uh, the Pokemon characters, so this would be a chance for them to come to the library and they will hunt inside the library only for Pokemon, so it's for ages 3 and up, and that'll be Saturday, August 13th at 11 a.m. here at the main library, and we will have different Pokemon hiding all over the library, and you can find them, and it's going to be a really fun event. So you can sign up for that by calling the library at 812-265-2744. We also have Sensory Story Time that happens once a month and that will be out at the Hanover Branch. And Sensory Story Time is a great story time for ages two through eight for kids um, who are on the autism spectrum or maybe they're just not comfortable in large groups. Um, the library is usually closed during that time on Saturdays and um, that will be August 20th at 11 a.m. at the Hanover Branch. Sensory Story Time we do a lot of hands-on um, crafts and activities and uh, share some books and it's just a wonderful time for kids to meet other kids as well. We have a homeschool open house that we'll be holding in the month of August and that's going to occur on Monday August 22nd at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We invite all families who do homeschooling and who are thinking about starting homeschooling to come to this event and we will share what um, resources the library has to support homeschooling and you can meet other homeschooling moms and if you maybe don't even have kids yet but uh, maybe you're expecting and you want to find out more about homeschooling from some of the other homeschooling uh, families in the area this is a wonderful opportunity for everyone to get together and meet at the library we're going to share um, the resources and materials the library has to support your curriculum and once again it's great to network and meet with other people who are doing homeschooling in the area because you can do social activities together uh, maybe do some lessons together or go on some field trips together so that is going to be on um, August 22nd at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We are also going to have an after-school Pokemon craft program. That'll be August 23rd at 4 p.m. here at the main library. We'll do all kinds of Pokemon crafts. Um, so we're really looking forward to that. And also in the month of August, we are going to get our caterpillars again, the monarch caterpillars that will turn into monarch butterflies. Last year, this was a huge hit at the library and the children's department. We will have a cage and um, uh, those uh, Caterpillars will be coming to us and we'll be feeding them and taking care of them. And so anyone is welcome to come in and see them as they grow, as they build their um, cocoons and chrysalis. And um, we do not interfere with uh, them as they are growing, um, but just kind of provide the nurturing environment for them to grow. And so that's gonna be a great program. Um, we don't have dates yet for that, but throughout um, the end of August and throughout September, they will be in the children's department. So you can come by and take a look. We'll also post on our website and on Facebook um, some of the pictures and photos of those um, wonderful, beautiful butterflies as they grow. And that's gonna be throughout August and September. Um, we will start story times again in September. Uh, the very first month of September is when we'll get back to story times. We'll have Mother Goose on the Loose on Tuesdays, um, that first Tuesday in September. And that is on Tuesday mornings at 10.30. We'll have preschool story times starting that same first week of September on Thursday at 11 o'clock out at the Hanover branch. 
Actually, it might be 10.30. When we get closer to the time, we will definitely post whether it's 10.30 or 11. I think it might be 10.30 now because we are changed our hours at the Hanover branch and now we are open at 10.30. We're open a little bit earlier. So lots of great things happening at our library. Um, we're really excited about sharing all these things with you. We want you to know we have lots of great resources. Um, we have board books. We have beginning reader books for those kids that are learning how to read, which is a great, exciting time. We have music that you can play, CDs in your car, kids' music that won't make you want to pull your hair out. <laughs> um, there's some really good things in the children's department. We also have playaways, and playaways are great. It's like audiobooks, but the whole thing, um, you don't have to put in lots of CDs into your CD player. Um, you just plug in some headphones, the whole book is on one device. And uh, playaways are a great way to um, spend your time listening to books and helping kids even with uh, comprehension. If they have trouble reading, um, they can listen to the book, maybe follow along um, in the book um, itself. So lots of great things and opportunities here at your library. We are located at 420 uh, West Main Street uh, in downtown Madison, and we have a branch out at Hanover, and it's at 273 Madison Avenue in Hanover, Indiana. And both of our library, um, uh, both of our library locations provide library cards. Um, it's very easy to get a library card. They're free. They don't cost any money, and uh, you just need to be a resident of Jefferson County. Um, if you live outside the area, there may be an opportunity to get a, a, a different type of card. Um, sometimes we do reciprocal borrowing with other libraries that are nearby, like Trimble County. So we just need to at, you need to ask at the front desk, and we'd be glad to help you out if we can get you a library card. And um, you can find out all about the library at our website. Our website is www.mjcpl.org. And we also have a Facebook page. So if you can like us on Facebook, you'll find out about all of our wonderful activities that are happening um, on a daily basis. Um, the Facebook page is at Madison, the Jefferson County Public Library, Madison and Hanover. And um, when you like us, you'll get all those updates about the wonderful programs going on at the library. And we want to thank you and um, ask you to come visit us uh, and find out what we have to offer. And uh, we'd love um, for you to come in because we love to answer questions, whether it's about Pokemon Go or um, back to school, homeschooling, um, even if you just want to find information about a subject, um, your library is the best spot to go. So thanks for watching. Thanks.